into the Volleyball Hall of Fame as well. Will Chamberlain getting done on both ends of the spectrum in the world of sports, not just the NBA, but also in the sand as well. Uh, big time shout out to Will Chamberlain. Listen, man, I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm ready for this particular part of the show. Each and every week, you might get something good. You might get something bad, but you might get something funny. But listen, it's all going to be good because now is that time. Is that time for Stop Playing. All right, so number five on Stop Playing this week, we go to the NFL. NFL, oh, man. If there was a Nick Young emoji right now for uh, the Cincinnati Bengals kick, Evan McPherson. <laughs> you must have been looking at some Nick Young highlights, bro, because you, you, you celebrated a little bit prematurely on your kick in overtime against the Green Bay Packers. You thought it went in. A little too soon, my man. And you actually missed, and the Packers were going to win. Evan McPherson, stop playing, man. Stop playing, man. You got to make sure you hit that follow-through, man. And you got to make sure. Matter of fact, if you're going to go ahead and celebrate too soon, and then you end up missing, you should have went with something like this. You should have faked a leg injury afterwards. Then all poly... Maybe something would have been forgotten. Come on, man. Stop playing. Number four. Oh, stop playing this week, man. We got to go to the NBA. I got to talk about some things. I got to get some things off my chest, man. (sighs) Russell Westbrook, once my favorite NBA player, no longer anymore. Because, listen, man, you can't come out here in these streets and you 6'4", you wearing a skirt. That's just me. And you can't go out here, whether it's preseason or regular season, and pretty much turn the ball over almost 20 times in two preseason games, shoot 419 from the field. Yo, Russell Westbrook, stop playing, man. The Los Angeles Lakers did not bring you to the L.A., to, to L.A., to title town, for you to put up these particular numbers already showing the signs of, ah, we may probably should have went with Buddy Hill, maybe, to just kind of spread the floor or whatever the case might be. But listen, man, this is the reason why you don't wear skirts out here in these streets, Russ. It, it's it's to messed up your game. It seemed like it had messed up your game. That's just me. Russell Westbrook, yo, stop playing. Get it together, man. All right? You're better than that. Number three on stop playing. I got to talk about Tom Brady, okay? Um, Yeah, he's not from here. Uh, The way that he is still moving the football at 44 years old is absolutely beyond me. Be, I mean, seriously, beyond me. I mean, 411 yards, five touchdowns. I mean, come on. Doing it for the first time in his five, I mean, 22-year career, might as well make, make it a 42-year career because that's exactly how long it seems like he's been in the NFL. But come on, Tom Brady, yo, stop playing why you got why you got to do Miami like that you ain't had to do Miami like that they're going through a lot right now Tua keep getting hurt you know Brian Flores is probably on the hot seat now in Miami but you ain't had to do them dirty like that come on man Tom Brady still doing it at 44 years old and could potentially be an MVP candidate by the way you've been playing yo stop playing all right number two going to stop playing. I got to go back to the NFL, all right? I got to stay in the NFL. We got to talk about the game between the Arizona Cardinals and the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday. And listen, man, Rondale Moore probably had the most epic toe-tab drag in maybe NFL history. I mean, the way that he uh, just ballerina-like tiptoed down the sideline to catch the ball from Kyler Murray to bring it in and hit the toe tap, <laughs> toe tap drag in the sideline to grab the reception in the fourth quarter. Yo, Rondell Moore in your bag, bro. Stop playing out here. All right, come on, man. I mean, you got your NFC West rival. You got to make sure you, you know, give them some showtime in the showtime, in the desert, you know what I'm saying? Rondell Moore, yo, stop playing, okay, man? But number one, I got to go back to the hardwood. I got to go back to the NBA. And listen, John Collins did some things throughout the NBA playoffs 
He dunked on some heads, and he already starting up his antics already in the preseason. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you go ahead and listen to it. 6.50 left. Hawks ball out. The timeout. Cooper on the lob and up top to John Collins. What a play. Holy smokes. Did John Collins get up in the air? Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> Look at this pass. John goes up. Even the Cavalier bench. And looked like he couldn't believe it. Shoulders. I mean, he gets Jared Allen out of the way. Allen fouled him. John's got a three-point play. The oohs and ahs in State Farm. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I mean, personally, I feel like the announcers were being a little bit too modest. My man pretty much dunked over top of the fro. I mean, completely obliterated him to smithereens. I mean, it's the preseason, John Collins. Come on, bro. JC, come on. Chill out a little bit. I know you didn't got you still you still bouncy, man. I know you didn't cut your hair a little bit, but man, you must got some super aerodynamics now with your haircut that you didn't have in the playoffs. Yo, John Collins. Yo, stop playing. It ain't the season yet, bro. You putting the people on posters and t-shirts already, man. Calm down, bro. Calm down, man. It's too much already. John Collins, number one on this week's Stop Playing. Listen, y'all, we're going to take a quick time out. When we come back, I'm going to give you that championship speech to get you mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and psychologically prepared, ready, fearless, focused, and ferocious. So you can make sure that you're going over the top and making sure your goals are being exceeded throughout this week. You know what time it is. It's that time of the show once again. It's the Champions Lounge, baby. What's going on, family? Welcome back inside the Champions Lounge. Once again, it's a chill brother from another. Yo, it's been great riding with you guys once again for another week of the Champions Lounge. Yo, each and every week, I get a chance to touch this mic, be able to touch you guys' lives, and us be able to have some type of dialogue within sports and even talk about things in life. Yo, that's something that builds a relationship. And right now, we building over here with the Champions Lounge. And listen... Continue to help us build this brand up, okay? Each and every Monday, we got exclusive content. We are keep building better and better and more elite content each and every week. So if you love it, you go ahead and share it. Share it with your cousin, nephew, niece, whoever, and help us by going to Spotify, Anchor, Spreaker, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio. The YouTube channel is the Champions Lounge. Follow us on IG at the underscore champions underscore lounge, where we're going to continue to produce more content each and every week because we're just, we're not just about it. We just ain't talking to talk. We're going to make sure we walk that walk because we are still bringing that barbershop talk, but we're going to make sure we have that champions walk. All right, listen, man, we ain't trying to be no fugazis out here, being no frauds out here. We about our business, and we out to make sure we outwork everybody. All right, listen, man, it's that time of the show where we're getting ourselves mentally, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically prepared to be fearless, focused, and ferocious throughout the week to come. It's that time of the show, y'all. It's time for the champion's chip speech. So listen, y'all, let's get it going. The championship speech. I talked about it earlier. The cameraman. And I had a I had a whole a little bit of a epiphany throughout this week, and I was just thinking about a few things. And I was looking at a certain movie, and I can't remember the name of the movie right now. But I was looking at it and I was just like, yo, in every movie, I'm pretty sure in the subtitles at the end of the movie. You see who the cameraman was or whatever the case might be. But you never know who's behind the camera. And I started thinking about some things. And I'm like, wait a minute. You know, we live in a society where people are in front of the camera and, 
you know, most of the time we're taking pictures of our highlights. But at the same time, sometimes we get in a, a stupor where we're, we are the cameraman. We're hiding behind the lens of what everybody else is doing. We're taking pictures of everybody else's highlights. And, you know, we're looking at everybody else go on vacation. We're looking at everyone else building their brand. We're looking at everyone else build their business. But we're not really doing anything about our lives. And it, it had me really looking at myself. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, you're building your brand here with... Uh, the Champions Lounge, you transition the name, you know, but are you really expanding? How are you really building it for, you know, others, uh, not just yourself, uh, making a bigger platform, not just for you, but bringing everyone else along in a way that, you know, it's not just about me. It's about we. And, you know, not being so uh, looking at, oh, well, the world has all this other type of stuff going on, but I'm more in tune with what's going on out there instead of what's going on in my life. I'm taking more pictures of someone else succeeding, but I'm not really doing my work, my inside work, my inside job for myself so I can keep building, so I can keep moving, so I can keep staying motivated, driven, focused, fearless, uh, ferocious to make sure I'm accomplishing the things on my goal list throughout my life. And, It just really had me thinking, I'm like, how much time do we spend behind the lens of making sure we capture everyone else's shining moment, but not really doing the same for ourselves? Not really making sure, yo, am I really making sure my accomplishments are worth something? Or am I just trying to make myself feel good? Because it's really not amounting to a whole lot of anything. It's really just a plaque on the wall that really has a whole bunch of dust on it, but I'm not really doing anything with it. Uh, You know, it's like going to college and not really using your degree. And honestly, over the last couple of months, I finally started using my degree that I got in mass communication with launching this podcast that was first the playbook podcast now the champions lounge now this afforded me the opportunity to do play by play for lincoln university and at the same time i'm like i'm still not satisfied i'm not satisfied because you know that's cool being good it's all right being good it's okay flossing the good things and all that other good stuff but am i still keep building myself and building my future so that it can be elite So it can transcend just not being me, but for others after me, I'm like, yo, I still got work to do and I can't be stuck being the cameraman watching everybody else do their thing, but I'm still not doing enough of my thing for myself, for my present and my future. It really had me really uh, self-reflect on myself. In different areas of my life where there's still room for improvement. And if you're a champion, you always are looking for room for improvement. You're never satisfied, even when you get to the space where people are calling you great. But don't read the news clippings. Don't read, you know, read into the Facebook post, the IG post. Yo, you blowing up. Yo, you doing things dope. Nah, you keep making sure you keep building. So that you're not stuck being the cameraman with the subtitles because someone else is outworking you. I refuse to allow anybody else to outwork me because of my procrastination and laziness in different areas. And moving forward, I implore us and I challenge us throughout this week. Don't be stuck being the cameraman in someone else's scenes in their life where they're succeeding and you're still stuck on pause. Make sure that you got your own highlights, that you're still building your foundation for your future and your legacy to come. And don't be stuck being that cameraman. Listen. It's your chill brother from another signing out. That's the challenge. That's the decree for your week. And make sure you stay focused, fearless, and ferocious to make sure you're accomplishing all of what you desire and more. Nothing is hard. Just make sure you got a purpose, a plan, and make sure you fulfill that assignment. And at the end, I promise you, we all will win. Until next time, I'm signing out for another week of the Champions Lounge. Until next time, y'all be safe, y'all be easy, peace.